watching the thing with Raldis Chapman and the translator. Yeah, let's see. What I don't understand it. Okay, they always we always talk on this show. I've always said that if you don't speak the foreign language that you know the the player speaks, how do you ever know that the translator is really interpreting what the guy is saying? So Raldis Chapman uh, has to meet the Chicago media. All right. Yeah. And in meeting with the media, they ask the question as such. Can you please answer what the expectations are of you off the field from the Cubs? The character expectations that the team owner talked about, and the, the owner and Theo Epstein both said in their press conferences that they had gave uh, Chapman specific questions and were looking for specific answers before they'd agree to do the deal. So as opposed to having a professional translator, as he had here in uh, New York with the Yankees, they have the bullpen coach who happens to speak Spanish answering on behalf of, of Chapman. Chapman, okay? He writes, he says, you know, Chapman says what he says in Spanish, and the guy goes, he just got here. They haven't sit down and talked to him about anything yet at any point. He's going to wait for them to sit down and talk to him. In the meantime, he's just going to be around this Chapman and do his thing. <clears throat> That's not interpreting it. That's his version of... He's saying what he thinks is going to happen. Okay. So he's not giving a word-for-word -word interpretation as an interpreter would, right, Boom? That's right. Then it gets, it got ugly, frankly, and he's getting killed, Chapman is, in the Chicago media. The phone conversation yesterday with Mr. Ricketts was important. Theo said time and time again yesterday that they would not have made the deal without talking to you. I'm wondering if anything they said made an impact on you before you came here. You've had some time to think about it. Do you remember anything that they said? Literally the day before. He doesn't remember right now. It's been a long day. <laughs> now, there were people listening to this um, conference call who speak Spanish fluently, who say that Chapman said everything right, and the guy interpreting it listened to Chapman and then just put his own two cents into it. Oh. The result is this. Chapman is getting buried in Chicago for claiming to have slept through the phone call with Theo Epstein and Mr. Ricketts, the owner, right? And then getting buried beyond that for the claim that he will not denounce domestic violence, nor will he do anything to raise awareness or, you know, contribute to shelter. So I think it's now time for the pitching coach to come back out and say, look, guys, I screwed this whole thing up. Well, they did that. Oh, they did that. Okay, he good. didn't. Now, uh, Pedro Gomez of ESPN spoke to Chapman afterwards, and Pedro sp speaks Spanish yes. and talked to him in Spanish. And Chapman said everything you'd want him to say. I've grown from that time. I'm still with my girlfriend. I'm still with the family. I feel that I've changed as a person. I'm working to be a better person and all, he never said he didn't remember the interview mm. or sleep through it. He was saying that during the press conference that one of the questions they asked him about what I just said was that he was he gave the answer and said it's been a long 24 hours, so excuse me if I'm not representing this correctly. Mm. So this That's is why, how you get in trouble but with this, interpreters. Yeah, but this is why you'd have to have a professional interpreter right. because they've done it before. They understand <laughs> voice inflections. They understand, you know... Uh, how oh, they can actually delivered. interpret word for word. That's what you pay to. Yes. Right. Interesting. I told you. That I, you never know. You never know. Exactly. Just it's, like, it's like at the, at the Nelson Mandela funeral. The guy was drunk, and he wasn't sign languaging what what was being said. Remember? He was just a guy up there. Just he was just a things. guy doing the, the motions. <laughs>